Good morning, everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here on July the 11th with our 20, album number 21 of the 31 albums that introduced me to these groups. So basically what I'm doing is I've picked out my favorite 31 albums that introduced me to a particular rock band. So there's a couple of rock bands like Thin Lizzy, The Who, those are examples of uh, bands that I never really had a particular album that introduced me to them. By the time I started getting albums by them, I was well familiar with them and, and had liked them quite a bit. This album has been the one that introduced me to this band, although they have another one that I also like quite a bit, but this is the main one. Uh, I don't own this album. I've looked for it and it's not easy to find. I'm probably going to have to order it online, but it's going to cost me a bit of money to get it. And that's Master's Apprentices Choice Cuts. Uh, this is an absolutely killer album. Uh, some of the best rifting and catchy hooks on this album. I like almost all the songs on this album. I really like this band a lot. It's a band that I'm actually considering buying a online package that has all of their albums together on it a box set so that may be the way i go with this album uh, with this group but this album itself just absolutely killer like just every song on it is really catchy um they're heavy but they have a progressive element to their music as well i think the vocalist is outstanding on this group you know sometimes you get bands that have great music but the vocalist isn't really up to the snuff where you get a great vocalist and he's working with inferior stuff not here this is a perfect perfect setup for the perfect vocals on this i think this is one of the more underrated bands out there as well uh, they certainly haven't got the notoriety they deserved no doubt about it and i put them on this list even though i don't own the album because I just can't ignore it. You know, it has introduced me and made this a strong, potentially strong band for me on my list. So uh, the album, of course, Choice Cuts, they do have, like I said, other stuff. But this, if, if I was recommending an access point to this band, this would definitely be the album to get. Um, if you like that kind of hard rock, heavy feel, catchy riffs, uh, lots of... Um, Lots of heaviness to the music, lots of uh, progressive elements to the music. You'll like this band. In fact, I can't, I can't believe that uh, this band just didn't make it to, uh, to where they deserve to be. But um, you know, that's the way it is sometimes. Sometimes location or lack of location or international location, all those things sometimes have an effect. Sometimes it's producers. Sometimes it's um, timing it's all it's always some factor that often is beyond the band's control if it was just about the music this band would definitely be one of the more memorable bands that have played rock and roll music so master's apprentice choice cuts um number 21 here on july the 11th uh we will uh, of course continue with the series throughout july uh, introducing you to more and more albums that have impacted me with certain groups and I hope you've had liked this video if you have please hit the like and subscribe buttons that's much appreciated uh, if you want to make any comments about this group in the comment section below most people tend to like to talk about this band and I can understand why um, they are fantastic um, you can put those in the comment section as well and don't forget to hit the notification bell and we will be back on day I guess it'd be day number 12 tomorrow for another Australian band. This one won't be much of a surprise, though. So we'll see you then. Take care and have yourself a good one. Goodbye.